yeah, there is absolutely no manifestation that has come or will come out of this situation with this karmic and this divine masculine. Doesn't feel any light, anything that is worth saving. There's nothing that can grow from the situation. It's just very, very toxic. I just keep getting abuse, abuse, abuse. Um, Deep-rooted pain and a heavy burden. Just burden. Just very, like, so much burden. And it's like this karmic... knows how to manipulate this divine masculine whether it's to bring the beast out of him or to calm him but it's all very manipulative and this divine masculine feels weak and repressed inability to think for himself to Just feel feel joy there, there's no joy and that's how this divine masculine feels about the karmic I kind of want to know more about the six of cups you know in reverse and because they're saying clarify it um, I'm just getting family really strongly from this. Okay. Clarify the Six of Cups in reverse, please. How the Divine Masculine feels about this karmic. Who is this karmic? What is the Six of Cups? It could be a Leo. My masculine could be a Leo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. Clarifying the Six of Cups on how the Divine Masculine feels about this karmic. Who exactly is this karmic? This karmic could definitely be um, someone with fire in their chart or Leo or Leo in their chart. Um, the Page of Wands is in reverse. This is um, arrogance, um, just unfocused. Strength card in reverse. Rage. Wow, that's that's rage. That's okay. All right. So the divine masculine, this karmic. Um, yeah, there's no joy. This is a abusive situation this could be a past life connection or a family member but the divine masculine sees this particular person this karmic as angry very rageful a person who struggles who have struggled a lot in their life um someone that's very prideful and um has deep-seated anger and that anger has trans positioned into into him um this person is very controlling and is weak that's how the divine masculine sees this this karmic in particular okay how does the karmic feel about the divine masculine. How does the karmic feel about the divine masculine in their heart space? Okay. 
the Karmic Fields. About the Divine Masculine that the Divine Masculine left them out in the cold. They feel isolated from the Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine could be with this karmic right now, but if they if they are, it's very much isolation. They're like in completely separate rooms or um, there's just anger. Um, the karmic is like, you know, this is my house or like um, the karmic is like, just holding things over their head or nagging or um and that's mainly because the divine masculine is in this knight of pentacles energy um the knight of pentacles in reverse is all about just kind of being over the connection things are moving super slow there's no motivation um it's just like you know following a protocol um there's no passion um the Divine Masculine could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, for sure. Definitely a Virgo. The Knight of Pentacles is um, the Virgo card, um, but definitely Earth energy. This is uh, carelessness. Um, the Karmic feels as if the Divine Masculine is careless, that they don't care about them, that they um, left them out in the cold, um, that they're giving up, that, you know, the, the Karmic feels very insecure, um about themselves or about the divine masculine that maybe he's insecure but they definitely feel isolated and um that the divine masculine doesn't care um it's not putting any effort toward the connection the uh, karmic feels as if they have um given a lot to this connection that they have really given the divine masculine a lot and they've been empathetic to the divine masculine that um all they've gotten in return is selfishness and greed and cruelty and um they feel like it's an injustice the karmic feels if they're not together they um, may miss the connection that they have, that they had. Um, the karmic feels that the divine masculine has a harmonic, harmonic, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. Um, a harm, um, a harmonious connection and attraction to someone else that's not them. Um, they think of that there's a disconnection between them, um, that it's been a struggle with this divine masculine. This karmic knows that the divine masculine does not have true love with them and that the divine masculine um stole their time their energy um their hearts um or that the divine masculine is trying to get away with something or trying to separate himself from some sort of accountability or some sort of tradition or some sort of some sort of pact um yeah the karmic feels as if the divine masculine is trying to escape um they feel betrayed by the divine masculine and um yeah that's how the karmic feels about the divine masculine i kind of want to clarify the two of cups in reverse on how the karmic feels about the divine masculine clarify the two of cups Yeah, the karmic feels like there's no balance um, or there's no balance um, 
to this connection that the Divine Masculine definitely has no love to give to this connection that they're in, um, that the Divine Masculine doesn't want to heal anything with them. He doesn't want to work on the connection at all. That being in this connection with the karmic um, is very frustrating. The karmic, yeah, to clarify this two of cups, temperance in reverse. So yeah, the karmics are aware that um, this divine masculine is very frustrated um, and they're very frustrated. But more than anything, they're frustrated with themselves because they're kind of bound, bound to this connection. Um, through toxicity, They're bound in this connection through toxicity. And neither one of them can find har harmony or balance because of the manipulation that has happened. It's like the karmic as well as the divine masculine knows that this is not a divine connection, but they both are stuck. They both are frustrated and There's a lot of jealousy and egotism going on and just the overall disappointment. Okay. What action? No, actually, how does the divine masculine feel about the divine? How does the divine masculine feel about himself? 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 The Divine Masculine could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Virgo or Gemini. Wow. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. The Divine Masculine feels about himself. He feels very frustrated. Um, he's confused, unhappy, and he's in disbelief about what he's manifested into his life, the chaos that he has manifested into his life. He is very frustrated with his inability to manifest um, any sort of happiness. He's upset that he cannot manifest this divine connection. He is very frustrated that he has, you know, the inability to accept his past or to really take a look at his blind spots to reveal the truth about why he keeps repeating the same patterns in his life. Um, 
Yeah. This is how the Divine Masculine feels about himself. He also feels... Like he's the devil or that he is trapped in this sort of energy the divine masculine could be involved with a capricorn that is manipulating him to keep him frustrated and to keep secrets hidden the moon is all about secrets being illuminated okay the this divine masculine could be in a toxic relationship or situation with a capricorn or this could just be how the divine masculine feels about himself in terms of being trapped in karmic cycles and um very um Toxic behaviors. This could be behaviors involving sexuality, um, addictions, obsession, control, or he could be in a in a in a obsessive situation with a Capricorn who is controlling him or manipulating him. Um, or like I said, this could just be fear okay fear-based delusions this divine masculine could feel that he is delusional that he's just stuck and um can't move forward um past these addictions and these attachments this divine masculine feels that like he's codependent okay the devil shows you that the problems that constrain you are an illusion the binding is of your own it is time to ask yourself what it is that holds you back and are you truly helpless to change the situation This divine masculine feels as if he is coming out with this double card. The seven of cups to me just means illusions, delusions, temptations, um, just unrealistic desires, and just overwhelmed temptation, insecurity. And this could be all surrounding a Capricorn. Like I said, just this toxic energy that's how the divine masculine feels about himself his, himself secrets and manipulation all around him this divine masculine sometimes feels as if he is um destined for this type of life but all he has to do is pay attention to the blind spots get rid of that repressed pain so that you can shine a light on why you're manifesting this energy around you. And that's the key. That's the key that you're looking for, that someone is waiting for you to find. Divine Masculine. I just wanna clarify this devil Clarify the devil for the divine masculine. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil, please. Clarify the devil. King of Pentacles. Yeah. Divine masculine, when he thinks of himself, he just feels completely, um, you know, stuck in obsessions and addictions and just codependency and control um, coupled with the king of pentacles in reverse he just cannot manifest um, he feels weak he feels unable to um, take control of his life um, he definitely feels like he is in an abusive situation when it comes to this devil energy um, 
suppression. Yeah, there's a lot of deep secrets, a lot of depression, suppression of um, childhood pain, um, a lot of instability in his childhood, in his home. And there's pain that runs so deep that he has not been able to share with anyone. And that's controlling his life. And that's the reason why he keeps repeating all of these cycles and why he is in these um, energies. Okay? There is a succubus energy, an STD, spiritually transmitted disease. There is someone literally attached to him that is, you know, wanting him to stay in this suppressed, you know, codependent energy. And it's, it's, it's not stable. It's just mental illness, honestly. So this is how Divine Masculine feels about himself. How does the karmic feel about themselves? How does the karmic feel about themselves? How does the karmic feel about themselves? Yes, Divine Masculine could definitely be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And the karmic can be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. How does the karmic feel about themselves? The karmic feels could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or a water sign. They feel um, that they are motherly, that they're sec they're secure, that they deserve prosperity, and they deserve you know the finer things in life. Um, they're tired of being imbalanced, and um, you know if some believe that they're superficial then that's their problem because they feel entitled um, to everything that they're getting or they feel like others are entitled to what they're getting. Um, they feel like they are getting their justice. Um, the page of, of cups is all about um, getting peace or um, some sort of... Um, offering so the karmics feel as though um they should they deserve happiness or they deserve some sort of apology or they deserve some sort of healing or some sort of new beginning um they're trying to you know reinvent themselves they're trying to um, think of new tactics so that they can stay in in this power um, so they could stay stable um, but these karmics are being judged okay judgment the astrological correspondence of judgment is secrets I'm sorry it's Pluto which is all about restrictions and um, and secrets Right now, the karmics feel as though they are going to figure out a new a, a, a plan to remove anything that's trying to take them down before, you know, someone takes them down. They're going to counteract that by staying in their power, thinking of new creative ideas, being inspired to... I guess bomb first, you know, plan, strategize, and bomb first. So with this judgment card in reverse, it's like they they want to, they feel about themselves. They want to feel confident, um, like they have some sort of new plan um, to move forward. And, you know, but in all actuality, there is self-doubt with this um, judgment card in reverse. Um, these karmics are feeling rejected. Um, there's self-doubt. They're going through some sort of karma. There's blockages. Um, and um, there is some, some sort of delays going on with them. 
how they feel about themselves. There has been some discontentment, okay, with their situation, with the Divine Masculine, with themselves, how they feel about themselves. Um, and they're bored, they are depressed, and they are feeling very much in their feelings about the separation, if they're separated from the Divine Masculine, if they are together, but still there is separation because the Divine Masculine has his um, sights and hopes set on sorry, the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine is moving forward or planning to move forward. Eight of Cups. So yeah, the Karmics are trying to remain confident and remain inspired, but they're going through judgment. They're blocked. You know, there are tower moments happening. The divine is stepping in. They're being judged. Um, their plans aren't working. They are determined to kind of do whatever they can do. They're feeling under pressure um, to prevent the divine masculine from checking out his blind spot and revealing things that they were want to remain hidden um so yeah four of cups there's separation there's depression and then lastly how the comments feel about themselves we have the death card in reverse um that scorpionic energy there so yeah um these comics are resisting um yeah they're just feeling immobile they're feeling obsessed they're obsessed with um, the Divine Masculine. They're obsessed with blocking him. They're obsessed with, you know, thinking of new ideas to keep their secrets hidden. They're under pressure. They are um, obsessed with the Divine Feminine and how they can um, stop her from manifesting or block her forward movement. They're obsessed with keeping this... Um, divine masculine from moving forward um they are helping on preventing any sort of victory for the divine masculine or the divine feminine they are focused on holding on to the divine masculine they're focused on um wishing negativity on the divine feminine um yeah so they are definitely um how they feel about themselves. They, they, they're they recognizing their own obsession um, and their own pain, their own depression, but they're masking it well with new inspired ideas and um, entitlement. What action will the Divine Masculine be taking during this period? What action will the Divine Masculine be taking? What action will the Divine Masculine be taking? What action will the Divine Masculine be taking? Okay.
Five of Swords and Six of Cups in Reverse. So the Divine Masculine is going to be trying to focus more on himself. The Five of Swords in um, Reverse is, I mean, Upright is about selfishness and um, entitlement, um, tension. There's going to be some sort of um, energy of betrayal still going on around the Divine Masculine at this time. Um, but I take this as that the Divine Masculine is aware of the betrayal and um, some entitled behavior of certain karmics in his life. Um, the Six of Cups is in reverse, so this is all about some sort of controlling um stagnant energy um usually it could be a family member when the, when it's a um, six of cups in reverse but it could be any um soulmate connection um i'm getting hit family very heavily here but there's somebody who's entitled and um the divine masculine is very aware of this manipulation and there's no there's going to be no forgiveness and there's going to be no resolution he's cutting out something okay in regards to the situation the divine masculine is going to be taking some sort of action okay with the king of wands the divine masculine is going to be um demanding some respect possibly um from these energies around him he's going to be trying to take some sort of control and lead here um with the seven of wands um in reverse um the divine masculine is going to be walking away from he's going to be taking control and no longer allowing um himself to be weak or overwhelmed or to feel inferior or judged by these energies around him and he is going to try to take some sort of stand the divine masculine is going to be possibly involved in some sort of court proceeding um this could be about child support this could be about um some sort of legal situation coming back from the past or something new happening but this could definitely be um divine masculine wanting to bring some sort of justice um um to someone possibly to himself by possibly you know finally ad addressing those blind spots um allowing the truth to come to light so that there could be some sort of justification for some sort of actions from the past. Um, he's looking for truth and fairness um, and some sort of equality and balance to this whole situation. And some sort of truth is going to be out. And then from that truth, if there's going to be some sort of balance made, um, some sort of balance um, brought about. Okay. The Divine Masculine is wanting to Six of Swords move away from the toxicity six of swords is all about moving forward um all about solutions and change and finding some sort of security and transitioning from some sort of situation okay and then the high priestess of course is um all about trusting your intuition um looking within and yeah maybe with the new moon okay um the moon is the astrological correspondence to the high priestess um this is all about enlightenment and wisdom this divine masculine is going to finally have some sort of light shown on something that has been very very dark and very very deep and he's going to be enlightened um or he's going to enlighten someone okay he's going to really try to really transition between these two worlds that he uh, he's in 
and um, he's going to be looking inward and listening to his own feelings and intuition about moving away from the toxicity in the past. What actions will the karmics be taking? 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 Well, the karmics are going to be Wow. Doing spell work and manipulation. All of this, you know, pressure they're under, the, the tactics, the the false impressions, the stealing of the light, the um, getting the inspired to, you know, put on a front to be something they're not, to work together with different people, to, um, like I said, I saw a vision of a group of people watching or looking or doing something but um this card was all about finding new ways a new approach when you're feeling under pressure to you know figure out a way to hang on to something for infinity okay all these plans are not working and the karmics are going to be um continuing to manipulate and um blackmail um binding spells um, blockages on the divine masculine and the divine feminine um, yeah seven of swords there's going to be trickery and thievery and um, all kinds of tactics um, and manipulation that's going to be um, implemented okay this is escapism this is um, all kinds of deception okay But this is what the karmics do. Control manipulation. Without it, they're nothing. And lastly, there's going to be a tower moment. The divine is going to step in and going to bring down the walls. The divine is stepping in and the city of Sodom and Gomorrah is going to fall to the ground okay and divine masculine when you leave when you run away do not look back or you're going to be turned into a pillar of salt okay the tower this is mars energy okay mars is in leo libra now so it's all about justice okay justice justice the tower shows up when you are living an illusion. You must remove the mask and expose the truth of the situation in order to change it. Change is difficult. You will be shaken. The familiar will be broken down and removed from your comfort zone. The tower reminds you to let go and let the ego fall away. Karmics, let go. Let the ego fall away. You can't stop what's truly divine. The tower in reverse is denial, avoidance, fear, and reluctance. Okay? let go you cannot stop what's truly divine it's a total waste of your time but i know you won't listen okay can we get a message from the divine please for the divine masculine what message does the the divine half or the divine masculine in this situation. A message for divine masculine, please. A message for divine masculine. Whoa, not the whole deck. I'll just go ahead and take it. Bottom of the deck, high priestess. Trust your intuition. Wisdom, mystery, things are being revealed. Look inward and listen to your own feelings and intuition. Divine Masculine. High Priestess. The Divine wants you to know that you have been codependent. 
you have been in pain. There are repressed emotions deep within you that need to come out. Now is the time to step out of that abuse, that dependency, and find balance, generosity, and strength. It's within you. It's very hard, Knight of Swords, um, to face the truth. And you feel weak and you feel disorganized and unreliable at this time, but the truth has got to come forward. It will set you free. On the other side of the truth is abundance, it's happiness, it's loyalty, you are looking for the happy home, the perfect life, this masculine energy is looking at the feminine energy but the feminine is looking off somewhere. What you wanted didn't manifest the way you wanted it because of the blind spot. You have to look within to find out and to recollect all the pain that's buried deep so that you can face it and transmute it. On the other side of that is where you're going to have your ten of pentacles, okay? Your satisfaction, your happy home, your wealth, your achievement, your family, your true family loyalty there's going to be a tower moment okay everything's going to fall down you have to lose it all to rebuild yourself anew you need to strip yourself of all of the ego of all of the discomforts the pride remove the mask expose the truth there's going to be an upheaval. There's change coming. Become the dragonfly. It's time to awaken. There's going to be something shocking that's happening, but it's all faded. It was all meant to happen. It's going to lead to victory. We have on the other side of the tower, we have the Ace of Pentacles, an inheritance, something that was fated, a divine offering of success, of prosperity, of abundance, a new beginning, Four of Wands. 11-11, twin flame union, straight from the divine, a celebration, a promotion, just all beautiful things happening. This is a divine connection coming together, 11-11, okay? There is a call in your life, judgment, okay? You're being called to a higher purpose and it's gonna be a whole new world a whole new cycle on the other side of the mask. That's all I have for you guys for the Divine Masculine and Karmic Reading. Divine Masculine, stay strong. Check your blind spots. Deal with those repressed emotions childhood pain conditionings let the tower fall down on the toxicity on the other side of that is abundance love union divine connection and a whole new beginning
any of this reading resonated with you, please like, subscribe, share. Remember, I love you all. Until next time, even in the twilight of the coldest and darkest night of December, remember, you'll be fine. Nothing can stop what's truly divine.